the, the prime focus of the, the CPP, the Cryospheric and Polar Processes Division, uh, within Ceres um, is the study of the Earth's cryosphere, which is its snow, its cover, its sea ice cover, its land ice cover. Uh, we're really very much interested in how this cryosphere interacts with the larger Earth system and particularly concerned with some of the big changes we've been seeing. Reductions in the Arctic and sea ice extent, reductions in snow cover, thawing permafrost, the changing mass balance of the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. These are of great concern to us because of the global consequences of them. One of the things we study at the National Snow and Ice Data Center, which is part of CPP, is what's happening to the Arctic sea ice cover. And what we've been seeing over decades is that that ice cover is shrinking. If we look at our best climate models, they're telling us that maybe we might see a ice-free Arctic Ocean in summer, maybe in the year 2050, 2070, or somewhere beyond that. But what we're finding is that the loss of ice is actually quite fast and that those are probably conservative numbers. Uh, we're thinking that seeing essentially a blue Arctic Ocean in the summer uh, might be realized as early as uh, 2030, and the ramifications of that are really pronounced. The most important data we've got is that which is being gathered by NASA and NOAA satellites. Uh, the importance of these is that they give us daily coverage really across the globe as to what's happening. Now, what's also very important are these smaller data sets. For example, the investigator going out in the field and measuring snow, this snow cover with a stake or something like that. Uh, but really, some of the most important stuff is that what we're getting from satellite, because it really allows us to monitor the globe as a whole. We're often asked, you know, why might the public be concerned or should care about what's happening to the Earth's cryosphere at snow and ice cover? And the answer is that the changes we're seeing uh, affect all of us. For example, he, right here in Colorado, of course, the ski industry is so strongly dependent, of course, having a good winter snowfall. Look at our agriculture here uh, in Colorado, where our winter wheat crop depends so much on having that winter snowfall. Think about the problem of sea level rise. Sea level rise is due to the fact that, number one, the oceans are warming, but number two, that we're dumping all this water into the oceans that was locked up in ice uh, in Greenland, okay, in the Antarctic ice sheet. Now, this sea level rise has great societal consequences. So the work we're doing here really is very relevant uh, to the world's problems.